Sarkasane International is a Christian relief and development organization committed to fulfill the command that Jesus Christ gave to his followers to take care of the poor and oppressed, irrespective of their race, religion, gender or political conviction. Dorcas Aid International, founded in 1980 by Dirkian Groot, a Dutch Christian from Andijk in the Netherlands. He got the vision to help the poor and the oppressed Dorcas is based on Matthew 25, where Jesus Christ says, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Dorcas operates in partnership with local churches and Christian organizations, awakening and empowering them to share the love of Christ through practical deeds. Dorcas began in 1980 as a small group of people in the Netherlands who worked to assist those imprisoned for their faith under the communist regime. Today, 30 years later, Dorcas Aid International operates worldwide, providing social, development and relief aid through 170 projects in 20 countries in Eastern Europe, the former Soviet Union, Northern, Eastern and Southern Africa. Dorcas derives its name from a follower of Christ mentioned in the Bible. Dorcas was always doing good and helping the poor, as it says in Acts chapter 9. Dorcas Aid operates by funding projects of local partners. A local partner is a church or Christian organization that helps the poor in their community. Dorcas gives support in three ways. Through sustainable development aid. Dorcas lends help and support to local communities so that people can become self-sustaining and less dependent on foreign aid. The beneficiaries of the projects live below the poverty line in their country. Special attention is given to women and children. These projects focus on six specific areas. Agriculture and food security. Water and sanitation. Health and HIV AIDS, Housing, Employment and Income, Child Care and Development, Social Care. Dorcas gives a helping hand to those that are poor and vulnerable in mainly the former communist countries, giving them food and clothing. Many of the projects are funded through financial sponsorship. This means that donors, so-called sponsors, pay a monthly amount of money for a particular child, a family or a granny in one of the project countries. Relief and Rehabilitation Dorcas serves to lessen the effects of disasters, both man-made and natural, by providing food, clothing and medical assistance. Refugees are assisted in resettling. Hi, my name is Attila Dorai and I'm the director of Dorcas Aid International Romania. Our organization is involved in more than 20 countries in the world, helping poor people. Dorcas Aid is involved in Romania for almost 30 years now, initially helping persecuted people and their families, and later fighting poverty with helping poor people with social aid and development. Actually, right now, we are in the warehouse of Dorcas Aid Romania. 
I would like to show you in the following movie what is Dorcas doing in Romania and what is Dorcas planning to do in the future in Romania. Please enjoy the movie. Dorcas aid Romania. Romania is a post-communist country carrying the mark of 45 years of communism and dictatorship of the well-known Nicolao Ceausescu. The country became a member state of the European Union in 2007 and because of this many people tend to think that the country's severe socio-economical problems have been solved or that they at least will be solved automatically. Today most of the Re Romanian cities are places of great contrast, where sparkling and big shopping malls and luxurious villas of rich people literally stand next to the small sheds in which poor people live. People who, su who survive on the food they are able to dig out from the city dump site or somewhere else. Rural areas are even more behind in their development due to that the post-1989 governments have failed to come up with a solution of utilizing the agricultural resources, which there are many. In addition, many villages are predominantly populated by elderly people, since the young ones have moved to larger cities. Romania is struggling with corruption, an inappropriate legal system, growing unemployment, black labor market, poverty, lack of proper care for the elderly, lack of strategy and policy in helping disadvantaged Roma children and families as well as street children. Dorcas Aid International has ever since 1980 been very strongly linked to Romania. Directly after the revolution Dorcas began to bring aid and to help poor and disadvantaged families. Later on the work expanded to include also elderly people, children and whole communities. Dorcas Aid Romania was founded in 1992 as a field office of Dorcas Aid International. The activities of Dorcas Aid Romania Social care Every year Dorcas gives material support with a value of more than 350,000 euros to Romanian churches, schools, orphanages, hospitals, to shelters for homeless people and to centers for handicapped and elderly people. Many families in Eastern Europe live in deep poverty due to unemployment, illness and handicaps. In the family care program, many of the poorest families receive support. The support and the contact with the churches is a great relief and encouragement to these people. The local partner organizations of Dorcas can sometimes even help some families to find income on their own so that they can start to support themselves. The Dorcas Blue Bucket Campaign The Dorcas Blue Bucket Campaign is a practical and simple way for the public to become involved in helping the poorest community members. Romania has many grannies and families that are unable to put nutritious food on the table. The Blue Bucket Campaign is one way that Dorcas partners with the churches to alleviate suffering. Dorcas is calling on businesses, schools, churches and individuals to partner with them to make a difference for the poor. Volunteers fill the blue buckets supplied by Dorcas with non-perishable food items. The partners and Dorcas then distribute the blue buckets to the poorest of the poor. Dorcas is responsible for the marketing and promotion of this campaign. Supporting grannies. In Romania, many lonely and poor elderly people struggle every day to survive. Many have no income at all. Of those that do have a pension, money is limited and is not enough to survive on. Through the Adopt a Granny program, very poor elderly people receive material financial support and medical care through the local churches. And often even more important than that, people are helped out of their social isolation. 
People from the churches visit the elderly and they themselves have the possibility to meet other elderly people. They start to live again. Agriculture and food security. Dorcas is actively involved in development programs where the main goal is self-sustainability and lasting positive change for the lives of the poor. Families and individuals are carefully selected and assisted as they go through a period of plan development. They could be part of an agricultural development program where they are trained in how to grow vegetables. They are helped with the seedlings and also with the marketing part when the time comes. Dorcas has model greenhouses where people can learn and practice how to properly grow vegetables. Another type of help is when families receive animals and are taught how to take care of them. Trained personnel, social workers, veterinarians, agriculture specialists assist the families, educating and assisting, assisting them to become self-sustainable. Partner capacity building. Thirdly, Dorcas is truly committed to developing Romanian non-governmental organizations. As the civil society was practically non-existent during communism, the organizations founded after 1989 had very little knowledge and experience, but had the needed enthusiasm and vision. Dorcas organizes trainings, one-to-one -one consultations, and conducts researches in order to develop its partners organizationally. Childcare. Preventive interventions are always an important part of long-term development. Dorcas is very concerned about the situation of the poor and disadvantaged children in Romania. Through the childcare and development programs, Dorcas helps children with education, life skills and integration in society. Children from poor families, mainly but not exclusively Roma, are helped daily with their school lessons and homework, preventing school dropout and promoting good education. At the same time, they are trained in different life skills, such as hygienic issues, work attitude, how to handle money, social behavior, and so on. Dorcas would not have been able to do its ministry if enthusiastic and committed people had not joined in. Supporters, volunteers and donors were and are the driving forces of the work of Dorcas. Awareness. Creating awareness is very important for Dorcas. It is important for Romanians to know what is happening in Romania, in the surrounding countries and in the rest of the world. When we speak about the poor and oppressed, we cannot do anything else than to call the Christians to become active in fighting poverty. For that reason, Dorcas gives presentations in churches, schools, businesses, service clubs, etc. Four times a year, Dorcas publishes a news magazine called the Dorcas uh, Journal. The Dorcas website gives a lot of information what Dorcas is doing and about what you can do. Young Dorcas International. Young Dorcas is a movement of students and young entrepreneurs who want to fight poverty in the world. In 2009, Young Dorcas was founded in Romania. Dorcas wants to invest in the new generation that will take the responsibility from the current generation to support the poorest of the poor in their country, community and in the rest of the world. How can you be involved in the work of Dorcas Romania? 1. Pray for the need in the world and your own city, town, village and country. 2. Subscribe to the Dorcas Journal. 3. Share and give to those who have nothing. 4. Become a volunteer. 5. Sponsor a granny or a child. 6. Become an ambassador of Dorcas. I hope you enjoyed the movie. I also hope that you realized the importance of the work that we do. A work that cannot be done without you. We need volunteers, supporters, 
partners in what we do. If you got interested and motivated, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.